Nicole's going here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at IDF 2012. I've come across a booth that is showing off some uh, interesting technologies that are, are going to drive down the price of Ultrabooks and their thinness. We're going to start over here on this side with a new Synaptic Feedback keyboard. So this, you can see this is very thin, 2.5 millimeters. A traditional one will be around 3.7. This will provide a very robust tactile feedback, and this will provide a, a reasonable tactile feedback, but it actually drives the thinness down of the bottom part of the Ultrabook down about 40%. If we go over to this side, we're going to see some stamped aluminum cases. So they offer um, a definite reduced cost. And I'm just going to talk to David over here. Hello, David. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, these chassis? Yeah, these are uh, some stamped aluminum chassis. We're doing for uh, uh, an ODM in China, where we have the A cover here. It's like uh, stamped metal. The D cover is stamped as well. And the C cover, the keyboard tray, is stamped metal. It's aluminum. And what we get is a very rigid chassis, very hard to flex, and uh, the, it's very uh, cost effective. Many metal chassis are in the $70 plus range. This is more in the $30 range and gets us down into our mainstream price points. So and it comes in a number, you could use a number of different finishes. These are uh, uh, anodized. Obviously this one's pink, anodized, and the other one is silver. There's different color options to give a lot of different uh, look and feel. As in the covers on the wall, we have red and there's black. You could have light or dark silver. There's, there's a lot of options. And we even have a, um, a plastic chassis over here. Can you tell yes. us about this one? This is another uh, Intelvink. Uh, it's a thin plastic chassis. Where we wanted to show to industry, you could have a thin plastic chassis that is still very strong. And again, as you see, it's very rigid. Uh, there's a, here's one of the rear covers, and it's due to the uh, design. There's a lot of uh, structure in here to make it stiff, and the way the whole system comes together as a systems approach, you get a very rigid system when you're done. And again, this gives a very low cost, uh, attractive, soft touch paint uh, system. So we, we'll be seeing units like this in the 699 range, depending on the configuration, but it, it's allowing for the, the cost to really be very yeah, affordable. Yeah, this actually one I think is going to be below, like more like 599. 599? I'm, sure. I'm not sure on the exact cost. Oh, still. Well, thanks so much. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this technology hit the streets.